How Nestle won Japan's heart, the coffee connection. The Japanese people had a strong emotional connection with tea, and coffee just didn't have the same place in their hearts. But in the 1970s, Nestle wanted to change that. They hired a smart guy named Clotera Pai, who talked to lots of different people to understand how the Japanese felt about coffee. He found out that they didn't really have any special feelings about it. So he came up with a plan, start by getting kids interested in coffee. And what do kids love? Desserts. Nestle made special desserts that tasted like coffee but didn't have any caffeine, so it was safe for kids to eat. The kids loved these new flavors, and it created a connection between them and the Nestle brand. As the kids grew up, they stayed loyal to Nestle and started to enjoy real coffee too. This made Nestle very successful in Japan, and now Japan is one of the biggest importers of coffee in the world.